they have great sense of responsibility. Our schools should teach different dustbins for recyclable and reusable waste. And each dustbin should be provided with a lid so that it does not smell. Small dustbins should be provided in school buses so that students don't litter their buses or throw the waste out of the windows. We observe that a lot of places in our school, especially the back gate, is a uh, is, uh, collected standard water. Breeding, uh, it is breathing down from our windows, which is put student, which can put students at risk. These were some of the few measures that my team thought to promote cleanliness in our school. It is important that we visualize as seniors and the future generations make our school a better place. Thank you, stay happy, healthy and be clean. Thank you. Thank you, Marsha. Next, I would request Ojas Swami to present his motion. If cleanliness is in sight, everything is right. Good morning, everyone. Cleanliness is not just a habit, it's a way of life. When we keep our surroundings clean, we create a healthy and a welcoming environment for ourselves and others. Today, I want to emphasize a few actions that we can take to ensure our school remains clean and hygienic in the place for everyone. First, we will plan to install more dustbins. This simple step will encourage everyone to properly dispose of their waste helping us maintain a little free environment. We installed sanitizing stations at key points throughout the campus. As sanitizers will be easily accessible, this will make better hygiene practices and protecting ourselves from the germs and viruses. We plan to organize student hygiene awareness camps. These programs will teach us how important, how important personal cleanliness is and how it impacts our health and well-being. Finally, we reintroduce cleanliness rights. This was previously done in bishops, but now it has come to a halt after coronavirus. Working together to keep our school clean will not only boost our team spirit, but also instill a sense of responsibility among us. Remember, a clean school is a happy school. Let's all do our part and make cleanliness a priority. Because when cleanliness inside, everything is right. Thank you. Next, I would now like to call on Pani Makaria of the Swachata Revolutionaries to present her solutions. Good morning, everyone. Today, as a part of Swachata Makaria, we stand united in our commitment to cleanliness, a cause that is critical to the health, happiness, and the future of us. But how do we, as students, make our already clean school even cleaner? That's why my team and I, Swachata Revolutionaries, are here to share four unique initiatives that they lead the way. First, to begin with, let's take a leap out of Japan's book, where in a school, every student takes responsibility for keeping their classroom spotless every single day. The students also make sure that they clean their own spaces. And guess what? It is one of the cleanest countries in the world. So, why can't we do the same? Let's make it our personal responsibility to keep our classrooms clean. Because it's not just a janitor's job, right? It's about building a habit, culture, where cleanliness is a part of who we are. From picking up trash to wiping the desks, this is the pride that we hold in us. Moreover, remember the competitive spirit we had during our spelling competitions in our earlier classes? Well, let's take that same energy and use it for cleanliness. Let's organize inter-class cleanliness competitions each class will be evaluated based on their cleanliness efforts. And the best one will win rewards like the cleanest class of the year talk. Because nothing gets our students more moving than a little competition, right? And this way, we will be turning cleanliness into something we actually want to work with. Moreover, if you talk about cleanliness, then how can we forget the three main R's? Reduce, reuse and recycle. To inculcate these in our school, we should have waste segregation, which is to set up clearly labeled bins. Example, recyclable, non-recyclable, and compostable. Well, 
All of this is not just about talking based, it's about learning. We will understand that what happens to our waste and how it affects the world yeah. around us. Sorting our trash may seem small, but it's a huge step towards being responsible and global citizens. Well, I'm sure we all must have observed that during lunchtime or throughout the day, spills and messes are common, especially high traffic areas like the canteen. To tackle this issue effectively, we Propose installing cleaning stations each and everywhere in our school, especially canteens. Because imagine walking into a canteen and seeing a spill or a crumb on your face. With cleaning stations near that, we can quickly grab a paper towel and clean it up before it becomes a bigger issue. This simple step will help us clean our school and look it at its best. In conclusion, such an akwara isn't just a government initiative. It's an opportunity. If our government can take such big steps to promote cleanliness across the nation, then we, the students, can take small but powerful steps in our school just by simply holding up to our responsibilities. We are not just cleaning our school, we are making a statement. A statement that this generation is smart, innovative, and ready to make a difference. So let's just not talk about cleanliness and turn it into a movement. Thank you. Thank you. Following Pani, I am requesting the today of the Swachana Crusaders to present the news. Good morning, everyone. Firstly, I am excited to introduce our new eco currency system, a fun way to keep our school clean and green. Students can earn eco points by recycling, conserving energy, and helping the environment in any possible way. These points can be exchanged for rewards like extra recess time or eco friendly items. What makes this program special is that it's student run. You can be in charge of tracking points and managing rewards, giving you a chance to lead while helping the planet. Secondly, Recycling old school items like books or any other uniforms or any other stuff. We're also launching classroom cha challenges to see which class can keep the cleanest space. Plus, there's a trash art competition where we we'll turn waste into creative art. And don't forget the Adopt a Spot initiative where students will take charge of maintaining different areas of the school. Together, we'll make sustainability fun, build leadership, and help the environment. Let's start earning those eco points. Messy no more. Life's too short to ignore. Thank you. Thank you, Sidi. Finally, I would request Anj Date of the Survival Group to present his strategies. points uh, which me and my teammates uh, came up with as follows. Installment of dustbins in the shape of various animals. These bins have the potential to engage children and encourage them to dispose of their waste problem, thereby contributing to the cleanliness of the school. Plant more food trees in the school premises. This approach will create a greener, a fresher school environment encouraging students to actively participate in keeping their surroundings clean. Implement of, um, implementation of fines for students who litter in the school premises. Implementing fines for littering in the field area and the tuck shop will help keep these areas clean. By charging students for throwing trash on the ground, <coughs> we encourage them to uh, use the bins properly. These simple rules have created a cleaner, more respectful environment in the school. So, uh, the cho choosing of one day of each month for students to clean their own classrooms after school. Uh, when the students are responsible for cleaning their own classrooms, they will gain a better understanding of the hard work put in by the janitors. This experience is likely to foster great appreciation for their, uh, for their uh, efforts and encourage students to take more responsibility for maintaining cleanliness of their own. In conclusion, if our school implies a few of these points as rules, I really think, uh, no, I know that we would be more clean. Uh, clean. Thank you. 